after this Elvis type, dude, the dude that got a hold of this thing thought he was going to sell it to the Rock Hall. Mm -hmm. The Rock Hall only takes donations. So he was he wanted his money, and they probably they told him, well, they, they find a local dealer, he might buy it from you. And sure right. enough, that it, it, it was not just a bike, but it was loaded with karate suit, it had gold records, a lot of it kind of disappeared over time. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, everybody? I am in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm here at Southeast Harley Davidson here. And I'm about to go in here and see what they got in here on the showroom floor. It's an awesome dealership. They have a diner and everything in here, too. And since, this, since Cleveland is rock and roll city, they got some really famous bikes in here. So here we go, Southeast Harley Davidson uh, out here in Cleveland. Okay, looks pretty nice. Got some cool stuff on the floor. Road Glide 3s. Ooh, that shark fin. That's tough. The blue boys. All right, all right, all right. Tentatively my favorite right now. That baby right there. Ooh, that green is hard too. Yeah, man, that green is hard. Yeah, green is tough. Need green with the, with the black though. But then again, I don't know. Chrome is a new black. Oh, that's what I want to see. There you go. Ooh. Yes, sir. All the detail in there. Orange anodization. The orange on the floor rockers. Oh, yeah. This definitely looks CBO-ish. This is tough. That's real tough. How you doing? Hey, good. How you doing? I like that headlight. It's a real nice headlight. Somebody's gonna put that on some chopper at some point. Like, pretty soon. So like I said, they called Cleveland. Well, at least Drew Carey said Cleveland rocks. At least that's how I remember him saying. But uh, here's the rest of the dealership. Got a cafe, the Sturgis, Daytona, whatever, whatever. What is it? Harley Diner here. So this right here. Elvis's. I think this is his last motorcycle that he owned, I believe, but I'm not sure. With everything, sir. Oh, I'm from Washington, D.C. Oh, All right. nice, nice. How you doing? Right, yeah, yeah. Right. Welcome to Southeast Harley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. We, believe it or not, I think there's a D.C. Harley dealer. Yeah. The, the, the guy that owns that place started out here as a salesman. Really? His name was Brett Tebeck. Okay. Yeah, if you ever walk in there and see if he's still, if he, he's, I think he owns the dealership. Okay. Yeah. 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 I heard. What? What? what, what that's an act. This. This is short story. That's the actual Harley Diner. They found that like in New England and, and restored it and brought it inside and, and it acts like our cafeteria too. Oh, it's sweet. Cafeteria. Okay. And, and they call this Main Street. But what he's trying to do here was, like, that's Evo Motor. That's J Head, Flathead, Knucklehead, Shovelhead, Panhead. And then there's an old sportser who was trying to collect one of every motor. Ooh. This is actually one of Elvis's bikes. Not his first one, but not his last one. But that's Elvis Presley's Harley right there. Okay. His name's on the title. You can get a oh, picture. Oh, sweet. Okay. You can walk in there. Okay. You can walk in there and take pictures all over sure. the place. He was the guy that started it. He, Paul Myers? Yeah, Paul Myers. He okay. started this place. What, what the deal was is he built that bike by hand right there. The 59 bike? Yeah, the number 59. Uh -huh. He won a few races with it. Okay. Came up with 500 bucks. Yeah. And started a dealer with $500. Wow. And it turned into this. Wow. Yeah, okay. that's what I say. 
So, that's so pretty big. Uh, eventually, pretty big he got out of racing and yeah. became like a full-time dealer. Okay. Let alone, he's, you start having kids. Racing is pretty dangerous, oh, especially yeah. back then. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so wow. He, he made a, he made a quick. He made a couple bucks on that flat track deal and yeah. he started his own bike shop. So, what year was that? Do you know? Oh, the, the actual when he first started was 19. We're celebrating, you know, nine, we're celebrating like 80, 75 years of business. So it had to be like in 1945. He started out in a little house downtown, uh, even further into the city, where right. business on the bottom, house on top. Right. And he, he got out of there, and he, and he started his own place. Like, like, I can show you if you come on back here. Sure. Yeah, that's an Elvis's bike. I, we got that running. It runs. Oh, go, sweet. Go for a ride on it. Okay. If you come back here, it was like part of his his daughter was the one before Harley had all their all these clothes. Yes. They didn't have any. So right. she had her own boutique where she was selling boots and clothes. Uh, his daughter or yeah, or his, his daughter. Okay. Oh, sweet. She, okay. she built all of this. Or this oh, wow. One of her friends. Yeah. And she was selling like high end clothes in these little little cutouts in it. Right. It was a real boot shop in there with high end cowboy boots. Ah. Okay. But if you come over here, some of these old photos are nice. 1973. Wow. Yeah, and uh, look at the truck. It's like brand new. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, so it started like that, but if you come over here, once again, here's the bike. Okay. This is the place down on Miles. Okay. You don't have a picture of the original joint where it was in his house. Right. But, but that, that was him right there. That was sweet. This thing was a land speed record. His friend owned this bike. Set uh -huh. the land speed record back in 1964. 64, wow. 147 mile an hour. Ooh. It was a 250cc motor. Wow, a little tiny. Tiny, tiny motor. So what did, what, what did he do to, uh, the, the speed record at? Where? So Bonneville Soft Flats. Oh, it's a Bonneville. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the streamliner. Wow. Yeah, so, so you know, there, there are some pictures. This is like well, him racing. Uh -huh. But then he started sponsoring these other younger guys. Okay. You know? We, he started sponsoring them. If you come over here, you know, there, there's that number 59 again, but see what I'm saying? He was winning this stuff. Right. There it is. Oh, wow. And he, he put it together and, and, and came, this is like a cool photo where he's off to the track. Mm -hmm. You take the front tire off your bike and jam it into the bumper. Oh, see wow. It? We don't need no trailer. Right, so that this is- That might work today. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're going racing. Wow. No, no trailer, you know? But yeah, the car yeah. matches the bike. We're, we're talking the 40s. But they would do it at these old horse tracks. Mm -hmm. you, know, they were, you know, if they weren't racing horses, they could race these bikes. Right. But yeah, everybody everybody in Cleveland remembers this Southeast uh, uh, Miles. Okay. Yeah, you know, so that was cool. And then a couple other ones. This was a sweet bike. This was the shop drag bike. The shop drag bike? Yeah, wow. yeah. And it was like an old knucklehead, no, stripped down to nothing. Okay. Yeah, they were way ahead of his time. Yeah. The showroom, that's still, this is the way the showroom still looks up front. Oh, wow, okay. You know, but you can see the 70s, 70s. Numbers. Right, and that's pretty much almost like the it Elvis's looks, bike up there. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Still looks like that today. Right. You know, that's the, that's the quick story. If you've seen it, there's a couple bikes over here. There, there's one of the race bikes right Ooh, there. That, okay. that, that wasn't his, but that was like, there were like three of them here. And uh -huh. he was helping these guys win, you know, win some races. Okay. This was like later in the 60s and the 70s with this stuff. Right. Ooh. So that's the, uh, that's the, um, XR. XR. XR 750, yes wow. it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, that, that's the real That's deal. the bad boy right there. Yeah, we always, everybody knows about that. Yeah. So, so that's kind of sweet. This is the kid. This rotor. Okay. They, they own another dealership. Oh, that rotor. Rotor okay. racing. Yeah, yeah I heard it. Okay. George Rotor. This is the kid. But then there was Rotor Senior. Our owner was a little older than even Rotor Senior. So, okay. So he he was kind of teaching the, he, him how to race. Oh wow. Basically, you know. It, it all goes. Wow. There you yeah, go. That was one of the three. You know. That's see how it's southeast on the back. You know, it says Rotor Harley, but then Southeast. Okay. You know, so there was a connection at one yes. time. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Not anymore, though. You right. Know, uh, he, he's, Rotor's still got a cool bike shop, but it's not Harley affiliated. It's, he, it's an he independent got, shop now. He, okay. got, he just does motor work and, right. and, and engine work and cool okay. stuff like that. Right, right, right. And it loops on back around. Ah. 
Yeah, the diner. You can walk through there if you want to take a photo. Okay. But that that gas station, see, that's our that gas station from like 1926. Mm -hmm. Texaco Pacific. Yes. That was his car in Florida. He had a car in Florida that that everybody that borrowed it would crash it. Oh wow! And so now it's up on the roof. Nobody can borrow it. Anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can't Even drive it now. Passed away, but yeah, they got, that was Excalibur. That it came from Ooh. General Motors. It was, it's not a kit car. Yeah, it had a Corvette engine in it. You know? Right. Yeah, they were sweet. They wanted it to look old, but it was General Motors kind of right running gear. On. Okay. Yeah, that's like, see how the original showroom is still up there? Right. That low ceiling, remember I showed you that yes. picture with all them bikes? Mm -hmm. So that part's still pretty original. Right. And everything else kind of expanded out. Expanded up. Right. I've, I've been coming here since it opened, but I got I should have got a job here right away. But oh, yeah. I've been here since like 2001. Okay, okay. So almost, I'm going on like 25 years. So you've been around, been around for a while, since huh? All tw since a twin cam came out. Twin cam, ooh, yeah. yeah so yeah, I got one of those old twin cams. I got a... My, I actually have a 2001 Road King with the old Morelli yeah, yeah, uh, fuel injection. Yeah, a lot of people complain about it, but there's nothing wrong with it. You, yeah. you, you got to learn how to tweak it or get it. There might be a way to tune them, yeah. but, but the best thing to do is you, if you if you had a stock bike, the thing would run fine, but right. as soon as people rip the exhaust off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but there's nothing wrong with them. We don't care if it's 100 years old or brand spanking new. Right, right, right. We, so we have a cutoff day. They won't work on anything older than an 03, a 2003 back there. So that's what you'll find trouble with. It's going to change too because you know, bike, when we yeah. fix a Harley, we want to use genuine Harley parts. Right. And if they quit making genuine Harley, you know, you can go to drag specialties or custom chrome and get right. an aftermarket. Yeah. Well, you can't fix an aftermarket. Right, right, right. You can't fix a warranty yeah. bike with aftermarket unless it. Yeah, that's true. That makes Same sense. Stuff. Yeah, and that's one of the things too. Like even with the whole Morelli thing, all those parts are obsolete. So I actually had a, oh. I did a, had a conversion. Um, Zippers Performance has Zippers a, is right in Elkhart. Yeah, it was my guy. He he started out in a small place in Laurel. Oh yeah, yeah. He, like, he had a little small place, but he had a a, a drag bike. Uh -huh. it was his thing. Yeah, yeah. I walked in there, you know, and he helped me reach out an S and S carburetor. Yeah. And he was he goes, you can spend this much money, or you can spend this much i was like i'll spend this much right 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 it yeah. was only like 50 bucks and my bike ran like a champ i had Heck an old yeah. shovel head yeah but, but yeah he started out but now look at what he is so oh you're yeah, lucky yeah you live there zippers has a morelli conversion so i did their morelli conversion and split my cases so basically i have one of the muscle 107 nice, in my, in my nice. bike now right now i'm right at 120 foot pounds of torque yeah. and 120 horses i recommend that to people at that conversion kit it's expensive but yeah it's, once it's done it gets rid of everything yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it gets rid of everything it's worth yeah. every penny yeah other than you buying a whole new bike yeah even if you buy a new bike it's still worth to fix your old one I right right I keep everything running. Yes, what sir. What brings you up to Cleveland? Uh, I'm here visiting with my wife. Uh, my wife is originally from Cleveland. Uh -huh. And I was like, I'm going up to the dealership and shoot, shoot some footage or whatever. Yeah, and good, so, good. So, yeah, I would well, like to walk through. Take your time. We're here till for another 15 minutes. We close at 5 on Saturday. Okay, okay. Wander appreciate it. Wander around and enjoy. I appreciate it. What's your name again, oh, sir? That was a short story. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh -huh. Appreciate everything. Appreciate I'm everything. Frank. Frank? Frank and Parts, yeah. Frank and, Frank and Parts. Yeah, if you ever so, need yep. anything, you can call here, too. Okay. I'll help you out. Appreciate it, appreciate yeah, it. So if you guys ever up, need anything. I look up old stuff for you. Oh, see? Yeah, or if you new need, stuff. Need old parts, new parts, yeah. call that Frank here at Southeast Harley Davidson yeah. here. And so basically, this technically, or do they call this, people call this Cleveland? I mean, I know this. Yeah, so, well, the, technically this tower, that's where we got into trouble. The shirt used to say Cleveland and they made us take it off. Oh, Because okay. it's it's Bedford and then there was a Harley in Cleveland. Oh. And, and, and he, He's ended up he he ended up selling the Cleveland Harley to this guy called Rock and Roll Harley. Okay. If you look that up on, you, 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 it's called Rock and Roll Harley, but it's one of them cookie cutter stores where it's all new and it, oh, yeah. it don't have the character. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. a lot of the mom and pop people are di dying off. Right, I mean, right. The kids don't. Want, you think the kids would want to run a Harley nah. shop? They so it's only for certain people. Right, right. The, the grandson runs this place now. Oh, sweet, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I've seen it go from grandpa to, to the dad to the grandson. I oh, wow. Three generations in, in a matter of like 20 years. Yeah, That's yeah. That's time travel. Yeah. But yeah, you know. Wow. Well, all right, appreciate it. No, Thank you. thanks for stopping. Yes, sir. You get a picture of this Elvis type. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will do. Yeah. The, dude, the dude that got a hold of this thing thought he was going to sell it to the Rock Hall. Mm -hmm. The Rock Hall only takes donations. So he was he wanted his money, and they probably they told him, well, they, they find a local dealer, he might buy it from you. And sure right. enough, the, it, it, it was not just a bike, but it was loaded with karate suit, it had gold records. A lot of it kind of disappeared over time. The person that owned it, when right. she quit, she took her stuff. 
Right. She left the bike here. Oh. Uh, so yeah, it's a 1975 black. Mm hmm. Huh. Elvis Presley Boulevard. That's crazy to have like your address be like your name. Like, crazy. Oh, yeah. Got the 65 pan, first electric start. The last pan head. 71 night train. First of the big engine sport bikes. You got 62 XLH. All right, then you got motor clothes back here in the back. Hey, shouldn't all dealerships have one of these? This is pretty awesome. awesome. Nice. See the yellow rose. Might have to get that for Mrs. Uh, Silva. Oh yeah, I got some pretty nice motor clothes here. Boots. Got a bunch of the uh, die cast deals. So yeah, I'm looking for a Series 33 2001 Road King. So if anybody sees one of those, please let me know. Hey. I know a guy might like this. Are you open? Is it possible I purchase this? Yeah. Oh, I'll be there. Are you an assistant by Uh, possibly. There's me. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have thank you. Day. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. All right. So I'm the last person in the dealership. And generally, sometimes that's a good thing because if you're the last person in the dealership, that means you're the last person to be purchasing a motorcycle. Unfortunately, I didn't. well, actually, I did purchase a motorcycle. And yeah, I did purchase a motorcycle today. Yeah, Southeast Harley Davidson. And we got a quick history lesson of about the dealership. This is the original Cleveland Harley Davidson. Southeast Harley Davidson here in Bedford, Ohio. All right, so I'm officially leaving the shop now. Too many nice bikes here. Too many nice bikes. But. Yeah, so, it's part of my weekly vlog for Daytona festivities. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do much wrench or anything on my bike this weekend because I am in Cleveland with my wife for her friend's 40th birthday. So, yeah, so uh, if you like stuff like this, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And again, signing off here from Southeast Harley Davidson here in Bedford, Ohio, the original Cleveland Harley Davidson. And uh, actually, I did buy a motorcycle today. So uh, yeah, if you ever here up in the Cleveland area, make sure you stop by and get that history lesson that uh, I just got. If you like stuff like this, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, see you in Daytona.